So let's take a look at the following example in which we're going to construct the six pi molecular orbitals of the benzene molecule using the pi molecular orbitals of the propene. So the three molecular or the three pi molecular orbitals of the propane molecule are shown in the following energy diagram. So basically as we go higher up along the y-axis our energy of that pi molecular orbital increases. So the lowest in energy and the most stable pi molecular orbital of the propene molecule is the bonding which contains zero nodes and the two electrons in the pi system of the propene molecule are held are found within this particular pi molecular orbital. Now we also have the non-bonding which basically has a bonding and an anti-bonding interaction so we cancel out this middle one and we produce one node and we also have the anti-bonding pi molecular pi molecular orbital in which we have two anti-bonding interactions so we basically have two nodes so this is the highest in energy and this is the lowest in energy molecular orbital and we want to use each one of these to produce the uh, the six pi molecular orbitals of the benzene and then we want to label them according to their energies and according to the number of nodal planes that they contain. So let's begin with this type of pi molecular orbital. So we want to combine this with itself. Remember, only combining the pi molecular orbitals that are basically the same in energy will produce molecular orbitals that actually matter. So that's, a, that's exactly why we want to combine this with itself, then we want to combine this with itself, and then this with itself to produce the six pi molecular orbitals of benzene. So to see exactly what we mean, let's take a look at the first combination. So the first combination basically looks like this. So we have our positive lobe, the positive lobe, and our positive lobe and we have the negative sign the negative lobe on the bottom and we connect these with our bonds okay and now on this end we basically want to combine it from the other end with itself so we're basically combining this with a positive of itself so basically we have the same type of kind of orientation on this side so we have our blue lobes the positive lobes on top and the negative lobes the green lobes on the bottom so we have the following orientation so basically we're saying this plus itself so we have our bonds here and we when we combine them we form the following lowest in energy orientation because it has no nodes so this is basically zero nodes and it will be the lowest in energy now let's move on to combining this with a negative of itself so negative simply means we flip our wave function so the orbital region that is blue becomes green and the orbital region that is green becomes blue so this side remains the same but this side is basically flipped so to see what we mean let's take a look at the following combination so we have blue 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 and then on this side we have blue will be on the bottom blue will be on the bottom and blue will be on our bottom now the green will be on the bottom here and the green will be on the top here so once again we're saying this positive plus this negative and so we produce the following combination so now let's actually form our bonds here's our bonding going on 
Uh, there's our bonding, there's our bonding. And so now we will have one nodal plane. So notice that this interacts with this and there's a plane going directly this way. So there's one plane here and so we have one nodal plane because we have a bonding and an anti-bonding interaction. So we have one nodal plane here. So this will be slightly higher in energy than this one here. Now, so we are finished with combining this. Now let's move on to combining this. So we want to combine this with the positive of itself and this with the negative of itself. So let's begin with this and the positive of that. So we have a blue and a green. So let's begin with the green is here. There's nothing here and the green points downward here. So we have our blue comes up and blue is down here. And of course we have this bonding, anti-bonding. And so that produces our dot there. It basically cancels out. And the same thing is true on this side. So here we have our dot that basically signifies the fact that uh, we have a bonding and anti-bonding and that cancels out. And here we have, we're combining this with the positive of itself. So basically we have, um, the blue will be here. Then the blue will be on the bottom here. We have our green goes on top here. Green goes on the bottom here. And let's finish off with our bond. So we have this bond here this bond here, 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 here. So now how many nodal planes do we have here? So basically we only have one nodal plane that goes this way. So we don't have any nodal plane here because these are bonding interactions, blue with blue, green with green, green with green, blue and blue. But if we look this way, we have green on top, blue on top, green on top, blue on top, blue on the bottom, green on the bottom, blue on the bottom, green on the bottom. So we have one nodal plane. So basically these two will be on the same energy level, but they both are higher than the energy of this top one. So in fact, all these three are called the bonding pi molecular orbitals. The electrons will be found within these three orbitals. So basically if we call this one number one, we call this one number two, and we call this one number three, and we basically draw this line that designates a separation between anti-bonding and bonding, where bonding is below the dashed line, anti-bonding is above. This one basically designates number one, this one designates number two, and this one designates number three. Now let's move on to the three anti-bonding pi molecular orbitals. So, we have, let's call this number four, and what we're doing here is we're basically combining this with the negative of itself. So we basically have to flip the signs of our orbitals. So the first one remains unchanged. We have a green goes on top, a green goes on the bottom here. So we have a blue goes on the bottom here, a green goes on top here, and we have our dot that goes here. So let's connect these bonds. Here's our bonding. And then let's also kind of connect the bonds here. Now, this one we have to flip because this designated this plus the positive of itself while now we're combining this with the negative of itself. So this becomes green, this becomes blue, this becomes blue, this becomes green. So if this was green, then now this becomes green. And if this was green, the top now becomes green. So we have this is blue and this is blue. And we still have our dot that appears here. So we have, we form our bonds. And so now we have two nodal planes. So it's slightly higher in energy 
than this one. And this is called our anti-bonding molecular orbital, pi molecular orbital. So now we have two more combinations to be made because we need two more pi molecular orbitals. So we combine this with the positive of itself and this with the negative of itself. So let's begin with that with the positive of itself. So we basically have our blue here, then we have our blue here and a green or a blue there actually. And then we have a green here, a green here, a green here. Now we also combining with itself from the other end. So the orbitals are approaching from the other end. So we have the same thing. We have our blue, 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 green, green, green. And now we connect our bonds. Okay. And so if we count our nodes, this will actually have three different nodes. I, I'm sorry, not three, but two different nodes. So we have one going this way and one going this way. So we have um, two nodal planes. So basically four and five, let's say will be this is four and this is five because they have the same number of nodes, they will be on the same energy level. And finally, we can predict that we'll have a sixth one that will be the highest in energy and which will have three nodal planes. And that's exactly right. Because if we combine the anti-bonding with the negative of the anti-bonding, we get three nodal planes. So let's begin with uh, drawing basically the same identical side here. So we have our blue going on top, blue going on the bottom, and the blue pointing on top. Once again, where blue is positive and green is our negative region of our wave function. So once again, the atomic orbital from quantum mechanics we know is simply uh, a wave function. It's a way that we represent the probability density of the electron distribution. So finally, let's connect and let's inverse or flip all the signs so this becomes green blue blue green and green blue so the inverse of this side so we have our green here green here and the green goes on the bottom here so we have the blue on top blue on top or blue on top here um, blue on the bottom here and blue on the bottom here and this one, if we count the nodal planes, we basically have three nodal planes. We have one, one here, one there, and one there. So this is three nodal planes. And so it will be highest. So we have our uh, line that separates the bonding from the anti-bonding. So because in our benzene molecule, here's our benzene molecule, we basically have one, two, three pi bonds. So we have a total of six electrons in the pi system. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and all the electrons fill our bonding stable and low in energy orbitals. And the anti-bonding orbitals are not filled uh, because they're so unstable and because they're so much higher in energy. So this is our anti-bonding section and this is our bonding molecular orbital section. So this concludes our example and these are the six different orbitals the, or pi molecular orbitals of the benzene and we were able to build these from the three types of pi molecular orbitals of our propene molecule.